I wanted to learn how to make the plastic embroidery guides from scratch. So I spent a lot of time watching videos on YouTube and ran across this video from the craftsman where he teaches you how to transfer designs over to plastic. Uh, his project turned out like this, but mine did not turn out so well. Uh, today I'm going to show you uh, more about the project and what I did for the project, how horrible it turned out, and what alternative solutions that I came up with to solve the problem. So if you haven't already subscribed to the channel, please do. It really does help out the channel and help me continue doing what I do. Uh, when you are embroidering, you have your embroidery hoop and then you use something like an embroidery hoop template like this and you place it inside of your embroidery hoop. And this basically helps you to center your design because you would center your design with this point here. The problem with these embroidery hoop templates is that they are incredibly flimsy. Um, I have a temporary spray adhesive all over this and it does not wash out. And then on my template like this one, I have actually poked a hole in it when I was trying to align my design on my embroidery machine. And over time, I end up getting a ton of pinpricks all over my uh, template and it messes it up. And the problem with that is that these templates are not cheap. The one for this multi-needle uh, Janome embroidery machine costs $24 to replace. The ones for the Brother machine are much cheaper. They're about $7 a piece. At the same time, I don't want to spend $7 for a little flimsy plastic template like this. Initially, I started off this project using Mod Podge, of the shiny side of label paper and some flexible cutting mats. The flexible cutting mat is where I messed up because it was the wrong type of plastic. I noticed that the type of plastic did not allow the ink from my inkjet printer to adhere properly. So if you ever do want to try this project and see if you can do a better job than I did, then that's where I would make a change. This is a total disaster. It didn't turn out at all. So, I'm gonna have to try this again. <laughs> the solution that I came up with might not work for everyone, but I think it is a solution that will work for many. Um, what I decided to do was to just print out the template on a regular eight and a half by 11 sheet of paper. Um, I glued it to one of the mats with the Mod Podge and put a layer of Mod Podge on top just as a little protective coat. I don't need for the template to be clear because 90% of the time when I use my templates, I'm using it on blanks. But if I were to be doing a split embroidery design where I have to print in multiple hoopings, then I would have to pull out the clear template. And the clear template uh, is quite expensive, uh, so it does a good job just to protect the template by not using it so much and only use it for those specific jobs. Um, if you are interested in learning more about how to split embroidery designs and check out my other video. Uh, I'll leave a link somewhere here on screen. I took the time and allowed my templates to dry overnight and this is what they turned out looking like. While not gorgeous and not perfect, they will get the job done in helping me to align my embroidery designs without having to use the more expensive templates that I will use on more refined projects. I hope you really did enjoy watching this journey with me. And if you have any suggestions for ways to accomplish this, please leave them down in the description box below. I hope you really enjoyed this video. Please like, comment, and subscribe to receive more sewing related content.